Moonbeam. And that is exactly why we're running Katilda, while other people aren't, but we are. Did I have fun? I just beat Mono Red. What do you think? Get out of here, Mono Red. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you're having the most blessed Dark Metal Sunday with me in the Church of Malone. Well, I right now am at last day at Command Fest Frankfurt, maybe playing some sealed while you're watching this. Who knows? There is a high chance that that is happening. And uh, yeah, you might also say, Malone, the video is a little bit short. Well, I was recording this on uh, last week, in the middle of the week, and I had a freaking doctor's appointment. I tried to make the three videos happen before. Didn't work out, so I had to stop in the middle and go to there and after that I could not record anymore and you know today I only have time for the deck tags and uh, you know all of the other work that gets into getting those videos out so uh, yeah that is why the video is a little bit shorter you know short and juicy sweet and juicy but it doesn't even really matter because we're playing a top tier meta deck that I love so much that I just want to play for a little bit so enough with the yammering let's get into the one word Broken hammering, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is all there is to this deck. Uh, one word, it's broken. It's just this deck is so good, it is so crazy. The only thing that can really crush you like a canopy is if you draw only lands. We're playing only 23 lands, does it matter? No, no, it does not even really matter because oh my lord, I am the lord of lands called Landlord. So let's talk about this deck. This is the deck. It really, really shines even more than before after the freaking aftermath sad hit. And that is because of Calyx the Guided by Fate. So this artificial planeswalker is no more planeswalker. But when it enters the battlefield, it's an enchantment creature. So when it enters the battlefield um, and you have your generous visitor out, you know, you well, when you cast it, you put a 1-1 one -one counter onto creature. But when it enters the battlefield, or another enchantment enters the battlefield, you put a 1-1 counter on the target creature, so either on itself or another creature. And whenever it or an enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player, you copy a non-legendary enchantment that you control. You only do this once each turn. So if you attack with like him and six others, you still only copy one enchantment. But it does say non-legendary, but it doesn't say non-creature, so you can copy. Jukai Naturalista, very good, make everything cheaper. You can copy the Spirited Companion, very darn good, draw yourself a card. And uh, you know you can copy a lot of other stuff that we're talking about freaking now. For example, you can copy your Ossification, you can copy your Audacity, make your creatures even freaking bigger. You can copy your Hollowed Haunting, so that next time that you play an enchantment, you know, you get even more freaking spirits out of this and get the pump count up to seven really freaking fast. It is just absolutely freaking bonkers. Even in Pro Tour, people played this deck. And yes, I changed it a little bit from the last time that we played it. So there are some cards in here that I added that I didn't have in here before. Like, for example, the Audacity. That, you know, makes the Calyx work even better. When I first built this deck, the day it came out, it was the middle of the night. Because Wizards, for some reason, decided that it was a very good idea to just drop it out of nowhere. Remember that? One tweet, uh, if this tweet gets one like, we will release the set two days early, and then they liked it themselves. That was dirty. I was still there, middle of the night, recording this video, you know, and I got six wins in, in 15 minutes, added it to another video. That was crazy days. Crazy days. So, uh, this time I added the Audacity, and I added the Ride of Harmony. Audacity is super good because it gives a creature trample, plus two, plus oh. So if you have a generous visitor out now, that is plus three, plus one because of the 1-1 one, one counter, and you know, if you have your uh, Kami of Transients out, and your Jukaina, and your Generous Visitor, now that is plus 4, plus 2, and Trample on the Kami, that is already has Trample, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that if you attack in with this, while the Calyx is out, you can copy an Enchantment, like the Ossification, which will also trigger the Rite of Harmony. Whenever a creature or an Enchantment enters the battlefield, under your control, you draw a card. 
So that means that if you play this, afterwards you play like, I don't know what. Uh, some enchantments while your hollowed haunting is out, now you draw two cards. One for the enchantment, one for the creature that you make here. It doesn't say non-token, so that is also very darn freaking good. And while your Jukai natural release dies out and all your enchantment costs one less to cast, you can draw a lot of freaking cards. The copy will also trigger the Ride of Harmony, so that is very darn nice. If you flip your Invasion of Theros uh, into... They never show the backside anymore. Okay, I have to file a report. Um, you know, with this, you search for an Aura or God or Demigod card, put it into your hand. That is pretty darn freaking good. You cannot get the Human Druid here. Even though he was made by gods, he's no god himself. On the backside, there is a creature that has lifelink. And uh, indestructible for as long... You know, the thing is, it still says these things that you don't see anywhere. But it has indestructible as long as you have like three or four or more enchantments. I forgot the exact amount. And every time that you play an enchantment or an enchantment enters the battlefield, you draw a card. I cannot exactly remember. I wish I could show you right now. But the flip cards are just broken in here. So... Um, we have this, you know, so that will also trigger the Ride of Harmony once you flip it. And if you play an enchantment afterwards, it draws your card as well, which is always freaking good. So, Juka Naturalista also have lifelink. So if you play your Generous Visitor, Juka Naturalista, you know, then you play other enchantments. So we'll pump this up in the best case. But that is not all. We also have two Catildas to destroy Mono Red freaking utterly. Not only does Catilda have flying lifelink and protection from vampires, which might come in handy, I don't know. Um, power and toughness are each equal to the number of spirits that you control and or enchantments. So, enchantments and spirits. So, she herself will always be 1-1 one, one when she's on the battlefield alone. But, for some reason, you can see the backside here. It's absolutely... I, I don't understand. So, um, that means that if you have the Catilda out and you're hollowed haunting and you get more spirits, the Catilda will grow, the spirits will grow themselves pretty darn good. And once Catilda dies, you can enchant a creature for five, I think it is. It doesn't show the mana cost here. It's just, for some reason, the transform is all messed up. Um, I know it costs five. You put this on a creature. Now the creature has all the abilities that Catilda had freaking before. We got plus X plus X, where X is the number of permanents to control their spirits or enchantments. It has protection from vampires, flying, lifelink, and that is super darn good. You put it onto your Calyx, or you're not, not a creature. Now that creature is enchanted, it will trigger the Calyx. What else do you even freaking want? So, that is all there is to the deck. Ossification, absolutely bonkers. Just trust me, it's all we freaking need for removal, because we also have the Aganjo. And for the rest, we're just being freaking aggro. There's also other versions with, you know, uh, where it would meet you go touch the spirit realm or whatever it's called, where you give a creature plus one plus one. I don't have this in here. I have the hollow haunting. If you want to put it in there, you can do so. Maybe cut the hollow haunting then, because you're not going for the long game. But, you know, long game can be fun. A Ganjo destroys a creature, Bosejo destroys an enchantment or an artifact or land we don't like, and that is all there is to. That is the deck. Short video. Long party. So thank you all so very, very freaking much. Enjoy your Sunday or Monday or whenever you're watching this. I'm Matches Malone and I will see you in those fateful games. Are you ready for the best deck in the meta? Oh, and we encounter somebody off the top 700 right away. <laughs> Opponents going first. But the hand is too nice to say no to. Just way too nice. Hello, hello there, friendly waver of the hand. And it's mono red, which I like thanks to Catilda. Reinforced Ronin. Okay. That's annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. So I will go Kami into Spirited Companion. Uh, spirits and enchantments. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? That is a pretty good start, especially if you're going first. Then you really, really like to see it. Okay, all right. So it will become a 2-2, which still isn't good enough. That is why I will be playing the Spirit Companion here first. To draw a card. Bloodthirsty Adversario. All right, but that is all you're gonna do here. No blockage. All right. Bring down another blocker. 
And Audacity is pretty darn good to protect this. Pretty darn freaking good. Okay, alright. So this will be a 4-4, which is pretty darn tasty as well. And we will see what our opponent does here. Just slamming in with everything? Absolutely fine with me. It is absolutely alright, you know. We will draw a card here. And we will just rebuild. Here like this. Here like this. Okay, alright. Even found another land. But I still want to bring down Cathilda next turn. Cathilda is just nice, and even if they destroy Cathilda, I can still pump her real good, you know? Real good! Another running? Well, the one running that they had. Oh my, okay! Alright, well at least we know that we can block here, you know? That is already very darn freaking good, so this is three... I have to block here like this. I don't want to, but I have to. Do you think they have two lightning strikes? <laughs> do you think they have them? They have to tell me if they do. Okay, so. Um, they have a shock for this, so be it. You know, there's only so little a Malona can do. Only so freaking little a Malona can do. Yes, I can block that Phoenix chick now. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Go ahead, you do that, my friend. Couldn't care less. Whatever you have, totally freaking worth it. Totally freaking worth it. Why? What did you think would happen here? Like, in all honesty, what did you think would happen here? I don't know. I really, really don't know, man. <laughs> but that wasn't it, my friend. That really, for certain, wasn't freaking it. Okay, so here's Katilda now getting into for that sweet, sweet damage. And uh, we're going back to 12 here. And I'm playing another Katilda, yes, why? So that I can, uh, you know... Throw the other one in my graveyard. So the Hollowed Haunting here is not really, really good now. Go ahead, draw your card, dreamy dream. So they wanted to do this so that they can have the Phoenix Chick back, but it doesn't really do too much, you know? Just freaking doesn't. Another bloodthirsty adversary. What is in here? The lightning strike? Okay. Lightning strike away, my friend. The Catilda, even. Alright. Yep, that is absolutely fine with me. Are you turning it sideways, though? You really shouldn't. You really, really freaking shouldn't. Is it time for the hollow tongue? Why are you doing this? Like, seriously, why? <laughs> seriously, why? <laughs> I don't understand, man. I really, really don't understand. Putting a counter onto you here. Attacking with only you here. We even have a non-legendary enchantment. And they scoop! Oh, baby! And that is exactly why we're running Katilda! While other people aren't, but we are! Did I have fun? I just beat Mono Red! What do you think? Get out of here, Mono Red! Beating Mono Red always feels good. I know, I know. We're playing the best deck in the meta and everything, so I totally deserve a win here. <laughs> I totally do. We're going first, Krimus! One bajillion percentile, freaking Krimus! We have nothing for the ossification yet, you know, but we do have two commies, so I'm very happy with that. Overgrown farmhand, you rup. Alright, this is very good, because we can go Generous Visitor into Spirit Companion, which I like a lot. What have you got here, my friend? Spirit Companion, you rup. Putting one counter here, because why the heck not? And cut down. Beautiful, very beautiful. <gasps> Food! Is that olives? Crazy. 
<laughs> did not expect olives. Oh, the dog is in here. Dog, you need to go. Okay. So. Still not too much going on here. Juka Naturalista coming down. Spreading the threat. All I want to do here. Okay, Void Rant. Crazy card, but alright, I shall take it. Do you think they have a board wipe here? Mm-mm. I will first eat those olives. Tasty little green olives. Mm-mm. So, they sure as heck want to bait me here. So let them bait. Let them do it. Mm-mm-mm. Here's Katilda now. Just in hopes that you know. Alright, here comes the board wipe now. Mmm, delicious. So I'm working all day, so I need to eat in front of you. <laughs> it's like a live stream, you know? Oh my, okay. We don't win here though yet, do we? Take action, yes, please. Let's draw a card here. The audacity. Let's go for the life gain. Totally freaking worth it. Alright, they're down to seven and I'm down to one more noodle here. Mm-hmm. And they scoop to the power of food. Mmm, delicious. I will take a short break, but I just had to eat here real quick. I will be back in a sec. So for you, it literally was only a second. For me, it was just barely enough time to get some food into my mouth. <laughs> oh, I like this hand so much. So very darn freaking much. Like we have such a nice start here, you know? I have no clue what we're up against, but we will find out sooner than later. Talia, eh? Okay, alright. Talia's still fine. So it's just humans, eh? Just freaking humans. Do you have a Brutal Cathar? They do have a Brutal Cathar right away. It didn't even take him a second to have a Brutal Cathar here. Alright. Okay. Um, I don't know why they didn't attack in here, but fine with me, I guess. I can live with that. You have double Brutal Cathar. Awesome, but get, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here, man. <laughs> Just far, far out of here. So, Invasion of Theros. That is pretty darn good. I like that a lot. Get the ossification ourselves, shall we? Attack in here. Alright. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. They're not even doing anything. They are not even freaking doing anything. Yes, I'm certain about that. I'm so dumb, man. I'm so dumb. So darn stupid. There's no words to put in how stupid I am. <laughs> what was that, Malone? What was it? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I really, really don't know what that was. But it sure as heck was funny. So this time I'm getting the audacity. Putting down the audacity here. Pumping this one up as well. Uh, they can not get rid of all the damage, so yeah. Go ahead and do that. I could not freaking care less. 
I will draw a card. I will get this. Th Why did I do that, man? I could have attacked in here just like right before that, you know? Okay, this time I will not put it on the Skrelf. Will not freaking do it. Take action, yes, please take action. Okay, all right. So, Archangel Elspeth. That is absolutely fine with me. Create that soldier. Couldn't care less about that. All right. So we're drawing a bajillion freaking cards here now, which is pretty darn good. Because that is exactly what this deck wants to do, you know? Let us see what we draw here. And day scoop! That is right, baby! Oh, a bajillion cards came and crushed you! Even though I gave you a freaking counter, why did I do that? What happened in my brain? I'm not using my brains! We're up against the ray. Once more, if you're doing way too well, you're going first. And that is all you need to know. <laughs> the hand is a little bit slow, yes. But absolutely worth it. They're mono red, aren't they? Top 185. I mean, you know, I did win some games, yes. <laughs> but there's no reason to do it like this, you know? Soldiers, question mark? Or their hardcore control? Hardcore control it is. Okay. No counter spellage, though. Alright, I like this. Even if they destroy this now, I still draw a card, you know, which is pretty darn good. They're a dissipate player, aren't they? Temporary lockdown? Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> no! No! Why? Why did I do what I just did? Why did I do what I just did? I pull, played the wrong land. Oh, boo on me. Boo on me! Okay, I mean, hey. Memory Dial, you're so dear. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that we will lose this game. <laughs> I don't know why, but a very good feeling that they're, like, very well equipped to beat us here. The moment you saw the temporary lockdown, you knew they were waiting for us. The perfect freaking counter deck to us. Temporary lockdown. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. What? You know what I mean? Perfectly freaking equipped, man. And what do we get? Only lands. Nothing but lands. It's a 22 land deck. I'm just pointing it out. And we have a 50% land draw ratio. Disgusting game. Freaking disgusting. So at least we got that going for us, you know. Wandering Emperor coming down. Nope. Okay. All right. Another memory deluge, okay. End of their turn, I will totally bozage you that temporary lockdown. I like how they always never only have one deluge, you know? Always like five or six. So, what you gonna do here, my friend? Let's do some shenanigans, shall we? Some shenaniganery is in order. All right. Still wonder, I ponder what they have, you know? Game, come on, man. There's literally no reason to give me, like, seven lands in the first 14 cards. Literally none. Uh, you know, I have other cards in the deck, and I would very much like to find them. It's always the same. You go very well, and then you go up against top 190, and you draw seven lands in the first 14. Eight lands! Eight lands in the first 14. Just disgusting. Here comes a farewell. In three, two, one. Shabwam. Told you. Freaking told you. No surprises in this house. There is none. Literally zero surprises. Just, <laughs> just, you know, ridiculous. Dissipate. Come on, play your dissipate. I'm waiting for it. I'm just freaking waiting for it. I know they have it. You cannot fool me, man. You cannot fool me. If they're playing a Dissipate here, I might just scoop, you know? Yeah. You know what? I'm still trying. I'm still trying. Never give up, never surrender. I mean, yes, they have infinite cards and Dissipates and stuff like that. But we also have stuff still, you know? But not a single basic, you know? Which is also a little bit questionable. So we drew eight lands and none of them were basics. <laughs> none of them. <laughs> Literally zero. So, they will beat us with these mites. I can see it coming. Why? 
Oh, okay, yeah, I know why. They have a wandering emperor, that is why. That is why. That is freaking why. Perfect. <laughs> Just perfect. Oh my lord, game! Game, why? Why do I have to, like, come on, that is 9 and 17 in a 22 land deck. I think this is the point where I can just surrender, you know? Good game. I mean, hey, that, it, that was jokes, man. That was jokes. Remember yesterday when we played that mono blue deck? Also 22 land deck. A bajillion lands. Get out of here, Shuffler. You know, when you're recording like seven hours a day, there's <laughs> some stuff you just don't want to see happening. Oh my lord, Krimis. Oh, so Krimis. Oh, so Krimis. All right. So sadly, we have to do it like this, but at least we're going first. So what you got here? The venerated rot priest? Disgusting. Just disgusting. All right. Of all the things unholy, now we have to play against a venerated rot priest. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Really now? Freaking really now? Okay, all right. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, is there now? Ooh, this is pretty good, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. So how many more uh, ossifications do you think they have? How many more do you think? I would still be super aggressive here, you know? And maybe we even find something good here. That would be very good if we could. So what you got... Come on, man! I am the enchantment deck! What is going on here? <laughs> like, what is going on? Okay, alright, I mean, hey. Ooh! Okay! That is pretty darn good, though. If I say so myself, and I do say so myself, absolutely a hundred percent. That is right! After the last game, we deserved this so much! Holy smoking Jesus! Like, come on! <laughs> Out of here. Rob against Ravenous Balath. 82. Uh, we're going first. Oh my lord. Krimis indeed. Yes. All day Krimis, man. All day freaking Krimis. We have a Kami. We have a Hollet Haunting. What else do you want? Our opponent may be playing Angels here. I have the Jada. Mono White, eh? But this is just so beautiful here. I think I'm just going with the Jukai Naturalist here. What is with all the ossifications, man? What is up with that? Somebody please tell me. What is freaking up with all these ossifications, man? <laughs> so the first person didn't get us with all the ossifications. Maybe they do now, you know? So, we're up against some mono-white shenaniganery. Maybe they're missing land drops. Would be pretty cool if they did. If we do draw one land here, I will go with the Hollowed Haunting. If we don't, then, well, obviously I won't. But it would be good if we could. Dude, you only have planes in your land. What is... <laughs> what is taking you forever? Just... What are you doing? Our very own ossification... There's literally no need to play it on an ambitious farm hand. Literally neon so ever. So, next turn. I might be going Jukai. Restoration. So they they have the lands they need, you know? That is pretty good for them. I hope I do draw one more land here. That would be so good. Still going with the Hollowed Haunting. Still freaking doing it. All right. Let's freaking go, baby. So we're still bringing them down to 13, which is pretty good. If they have a board wipe here, I'm getting back my Kami, so it's not even that bad. And if they play a creature here, you know, we can just uh, bring down the ossification. All right, they want to go with the card draw, I guess. Maybe they're also going with the uh, uh, Ambitious Farm, man, because they they need the lands, you know? They really freaking do need them. So, one, two, three, four, five, you know, 
I'm very scared of an uh, of a farewell. Very, very much so. Very darn much so. Well, that is also disgusting. But only ever so slightly. Alrighty. I wonder, I ponder if they have more of those. More where those came from. Okay. We still have a good chance here, thanks to the ossification, you know? And as long as they don't have uh, the farewell, we're good. If they do have a farewell here, well, then that's just what it is and there's nothing I can do about it. Another ossification, but another ossification, another farewell also means that I'm getting back these. Which is good, you know, I like that a lot. Really freaking do. Another spirit companion, okay. And... That's it. Beautiful. There even is a land. That is super darn good, isn't it? Oh, yes it is. How much does this need? Seven. Yeah, that's going to be a little tough to do. <laughs> Just ever so slightly. A little bit tough to do. And here comes the ossification, my friend. How do you like them ossifications? I have my own ossification now. And with the invasion of Theros, I can get myself even more ossification. Okay, all right. Getting rid of the Architect, of course. And uh, attacking in with the dog doesn't make sense because they have this little uh, token over there. So let's not do that. Hey, if you want to block two of those, that, uh, one of them with two creatures, that is absolutely fine. You do that, my friend. I'm still getting you for four. And your board now is empty. If you wipe the board, I still have things to do. Is all I'm freaking saying. I still have things to do. So, play a second Sunfall, because you have everything twice already. Why not go and bring it, bra? Bring it, Ravenous Below. That is right. The only thing you bring it to the table is an empty plate. And I will put down on that empty plate like a pineapple, maybe some kiwi and some whipped cream so that you can put them all into your mouth and the delicious juices will flow all onto your shirt and you will be like, oh man, why did I not bring my own stuff? Now I have to eat all of this delicious fruit and that, my friend, is the fruit of the day, the whipped cream. You know who else likes whipped cream? Your mom, I'm sorry, <laughs> the real one, also not like, you know. That is so well. Oh my lord, we're going first, Crimmers! Yes, at least we got that going for us, you know? At least we got it going for us. Let's give him a friendly waver of the hand. Hello there! Hello! So let's draw some land here, please. Land? Well, I mean, that's bad. <laughs> it's just plain bad. But we will see what else happens. First of all, we are attacking in. Second of all, we're playing another Spirit Companion. Oh, that is pretty good to have here. Pretty darn good. Please land. Thank you, land. I like it. Okay. So. I wonder what we're doing next, though. We're just attacking in. All right. That's kind of fine with me. It really is. Invasion of Theros coming down. Yeah, go ahead and counter this. We're still in the lead here. We're still in the lead. That's all I care for. Land, please. Audacity is pretty darn nice. Not gonna lie about it. Not gonna freaking lie about it. Okay. I'm still drawing a card, so kind of alright, you know. I mean, yes, they're also drawing a card, but it doesn't concern me too much. It's also for freaking Cation. So, next turn we can play Cathilda. Really, man, really, like Urtai, why? <laughs> why? Why Urtai? Why of all the things you could have played, why is it Urtai? So what you got now? Liliana. Mm -mm -mm. Not a huge fan. And I don't appreciate when people touch my head. Okay. <laughs> Off you go. I am playing the hollowed haunting here. Why do you really have another make disappear? Oh they don't they have another fairy mastermind. Okay, alright. 
So what will I get rid of here? I think it's going to be the Hollowed Haunting number two. Well, it could win us the game. And we can just bring this one back, you know? One, two, three, four. We will see what we draw here. We just have to see what we freaking draw here. Braver Trespasser is slightly annoying. There he goes, a ride of harmony. Sweet harmony. Let's ride together right now. Oh, yeah. And sweet harmony. Uh, do you think they have another counter spell in hand? I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Just wouldn't be surprised. Getting rid of the Liliana. I'll be back. So we do have blockage here. I will also bring down Cathilda. Do you really have a third fairy master in mind? No? Okay. That's bad. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> that is just plain bad, man. Okay. So let us just hope that they don't have another removal. If they do, we're super darn dead here. Super darn dead, so. Here's Cthulhu. I just hope they don't have Liliana or removal or whatever, you know, whatever they could have here would be pretty darn bad. Pretty darn... Okay, they have it. Good game. You know, the only thing that could stop us is the game pairing us against top 500 players, one after another. Playing very, very well. I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. Get out of here.